Hey guys, Seven to be Rocks here, and yesterday I met the American Dragon, Daniel Bryan, or Bryan Danielson, uh, and I'm going to be talking about my experience meeting him. So, in overall, it was really fun, honestly. Um, uh, it was good experience, good meeting experience. Um, it wasn't like an actual like wrestling signing, it was an uh, autorama show, so a bunch of really, really nice cars. I'm not even a car person, like I'm not real into cars, um, but dang, there's some nice cars. So... Basically, uh, it, I've met Shawn Michaels and Chris Jericho at like the kind of same convention. It was at the same building and everything, and it was like some auto show. Um, and with Chris Jericho, I think I was like fifth in line, and Shawn Michaels, I think I was like tenth in line. Daniel Bryan, definitely not the same as that. Uh, so just getting in the building was really, really difficult, honestly. They had so much construction going all around the building, and uh, we could not find the door to get in. We had to ask a bunch of people, me and my mom. Um, so, like, I wanted to get there really early, but, uh, we left a little late because my mom was Black Friday shopping, so she came home, and, uh, we left later than I wanted to, and then we walked around the building for, like, 20 minutes just trying to find a way to get in, honestly. Um, finally we get in, and then it took us a while to get to the line because he's all the way in the back, of course, and, uh, we finally get in line, and there are just so many people. Like, I am shocked. Like, I was so far back in line, and I was like, crap, I actually hope I meet him. That was just me being, you know, impatient. Obviously, I was going to meet him, but I was like, oh, man, I'm nervous now. But that was just be me being impatient. But there was a lot of people, and it really sucked because every time someone that was just there for the car show, like, f like four different people walked by, and each time they were like, oh, it's that fake, stupid wrestling crap. And uh, I just thought that was funny. I was like, okay, you're ignorant, but whatever. Um... But, uh, I, I'm really far back. So I waited like an hour, an hour and a half maybe. It went pretty fast to be honest, just judging by how far back I was. I thought it was going to be, you know, hours, but it wasn't that bad. And I just talked to my mom and the wrestling fans around us. Um, Tim White was there. I don't know if you guys know him, uh, but I'm sure you, a lot of you do. Uh, that former, uh, WWE ref. Um, but yeah, he was there. I don't really know why. I, he was just in line, you know, making the line move, I guess. I guess they have to have like a WWE person with them, but, uh, yeah, he was there, so that was kind of cool. I saw a lot of people actually getting pictures and stuff with him. Um, but I was in line, and I uh, met Dan O'Brien. So uh, basically, I go up to him, shake his hand, and uh, I didn't really know what I was going to talk about. I saw that he, he, the line was being rushed, and it wasn't like he was rushing people. It was just he really did not have a lot of time to talk to everyone, if he wanted to hit everyone, so, or if he wanted to talk to everyone not hit everyone, uh, if you wanted to talk to everyone, you know, he kind of had to go fast, but he was really nice to the kids and stuff, he was, I saw him hugging kids and high-fiving them and stuff, so that was really cool, um, so I want to talk to him a little longer, but, you know, I'm not blaming it on him or stuff, there was a really, really long line, so he couldn't really spend a lot of time talking to everyone, but I get up to him, I shake his hand, and I said, you know, uh, I, what I say? Oh, yeah, about Thanksgiving. I said, I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. He said, I had a great Thanksgiving. How was yours? And I said, oh, I had a good one, too. Um, and he asked me what my name was, and I said, Daniel. And I, I expected him to be like, oh, like me or something. He really didn't. He just, you know, signed the autograph. But uh, then I said, um, I really just I can't wait for him to uh, get back in the ring. I hope he gets back in the ring soon. He was like, oh, yeah, me too. I really want to get back in the ring. So he's dying to get back to WWE, I think. Um, or anybody, you know, or just to wrestle again. But I got him to sign both things, or he signed both things, which is really cool of him. Uh, oh man, I don't know if you can see it that good. But right in the center, you know, right where his picture is, Daniel Bryan, or Brian Danielson. I really can't tell. I think it's Daniel Bryan, how he signed it. Um, but yeah, I think it comes came out really good, to be honest. Uh, in person, it looks a little better. And then he signed the book to Daniel. Yes, Daniel Bryan. So this looked really good. I, I mean, I'm really happy with how this came out. And uh, it was definitely worth it. I mean, it was a long wait, uh, but I only had to pay just to get in. It was $18 to get in the building. That's it. I mean, I, I got to meet him for free, really, uh, or just, you know, to walk in the arena. Uh, so that was cool. So uh, it was a fun experience. I thought he was really nice and friendly, and uh, he was really cool to everybody, it seems. So, uh, yeah, that's my experience meeting Dan O'Brien. I get to cross off, you know, a future Hall of Famer um, and just the freaking best, you know, one of the best wrestlers in the world. Um, so thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter at 73 Rocks. Uh, Daniel Bryan's awesome. That's a big, you know, bucket list one that I get to take off the list. Hopefully Kevin Owens. I think I really want to meet him uh, next. Maybe him, but uh, we'll see. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, have a nice day.